All right, let's take a turn and look at the forecast. Um, a nice day out there. Yes, cooler. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown joins us now. I say it all the time, Ashley, but it's so true. As long as there's sunshine, I yes. think, I mean, it was a beautiful day. Absolutely. The sunshine really helps out, and you can see that trend today. You know, as we look at temperatures at 55 for Indianapolis, which is about 10 degrees below normal. Hey, but at least we're not as cold as South Bend, with temperatures only in the mid-40s. Uh, Evansville, you win tonight. Warmest spot on the map. You're in the 60s already at this hour. Now, winds, winds have been quite strong today at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. It's breezy out there. We'll keep the winds around through midnight. Current conditions, Indianapolis at 55 degrees, winds at 22 miles per hour, humidity low. Now, the feels like temperature not showing up for now because we're not factoring that in. But once we get to around 10, 11 o'clock tonight, tune in as we'll actually talk about wind chills that will be much colder than the actual air temperatures. Here we go, hour by hour. Now, sunset happens tonight at 830. After the sun sets, temperatures fall down to the 40s. And that's cool, yes? It feels like last night. But tonight, even colder as we are behind a cold front. That's where we find the coldest air. So I'm expecting temperatures in the mid to low 30s tomorrow morning. So a 30 degree start to your day. And what that means for us is that we start looking at the possibility of freeze warnings and frost advisories. We have both. Frost advisories out from Kokomo to Lafayette down into Indianapolis and Columbus. Now, the frost advisories, because areas of patchy frost will develop, and that's important because if you've already planted, of course, your plants uh, started your garden, then you'll want to cover those tonight or bring any plants in that you can. Now, frost advisories out from many counties, but you notice some counties are not in the frost advisory. They're in a freeze warning. Temperatures from most of us near to slightly below that freezing mark tonight. Tomorrow, we'll start your day in the low 30s, but we'll warm quickly. Here's how it happens. The temperature trend with future cast here. We're looking at clouds. We're looking at temperature. We're looking at rain. Tomorrow, we'll start your day with temperatures in the 30s. Some models indicating areas uh, to our north, including Fort Wayne, could get a few flurries there. But moisture is limited in the atmosphere. If you remember yesterday, you know, we had rain on radar, but it didn't fall to the ground. We had what we call Virgo, where the moisture is sitting in the upper layers of the atmosphere, but not falling to the ground. I think that's possible again tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow, late afternoon, we'll start to see a few spotty showers. We saturate rate the environment enough as temperatures warm to the upper 60s for us, mid to upper 60s on your Wednesday. Wednesday night, we'll start to see more in the way of rain. Rain will develop Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing widespread showers to the forecast. So your Wednesday forecast. Frost tomorrow morning with temperatures in the 30s. By afternoon, warming to the 60s. That's near normal. It's where we should be. Looking pretty good until rain arrives. Uh, Wednesday night. Those showers pretty light, but look at Thursday. Thursday will be our wettest day of the week. The heaviest rain will fall. We'll add quite a bit to the rainfall totals. Rain on and off throughout the day on Thursday. By Thursday evening, we'll dry out. Chat heated and cooling, eight day forecast. Temperatures warming up for us tomorrow in the 60s, briefly falling with lots of rain on Thursday. By Friday, the chance of a spotty shower or two near 70 degree temperatures for the weekend, 50 degree temperatures with several chances for rain.